Hello everybody, I am Jay, Leonard Jay, and it is What One Control Wednesday. Today, we are talking about MIDI controllers. Well, for the uninitiated out there, uh, pretty much what One Control Wednesday is, is throughout the entire year, the first Wednesday of every month, I am talking and working my way through the entire lineup of One Control pedals. Today we are talking about their MIDI controllers. It's our last talking one before we get back to playing the guitar. Uh, but MIDI controllers is a cool topic just because they are incredibly handy, especially for unlocking the potential of your MIDI enabled pedals like this one over here. This is my source audio nemesis delay. Uh, using this thing face value, it's good. You can get a lot of stuff, but this thing does so much and getting a good MIDI controller is really handy in being able to unlock the power of these kind of devices and get your presets and changes down quick. So let's talk about what they have to offer, all right? Well, the first pedal we we're talking about is the Gecko Mark Three. What that pedal is, is it's actually really small, really handy and practical, and it has 20 different presets that you could program into it. And each preset can contain a program change for up to 16 different uh, MIDI devices. So a program change is just a preset. So, you know, I have different presets. So what I can do is I can get 16 different MIDI pedals, piggyback them together, connect it to this Gecko, and I can go, oh, in this preset on the Gecko, um, I want to go to preset four on this pedal. I'm gonna go to preset three on this pedal. I wanna go to preset two on this pedal, all the way up to 16. So it's very handy to just press one button, make a lot of changes all at once. Isn't that awesome? Very, very handy. And what is also a great asset for this pedal is you can have a tap tempo for it too, and you can assign that tap tempo to multiple of the units connected to it. So that way, instead of programming the tap tempo individually for all your different MIDI pedals. You just have one global one just to get things done quick, simple, and easy. Oh, handy, handy stuff. Well, up next is the Basilisk. It's a little bit bigger, 128 presets. Uh, you can write it in two ways. You can do a bank mode where the two, up two buttons go up and down between uh, different banks up to 64 and the bottom two are presets. So you have two presets per bank kind of thing. Each preset on the Basilisk uh, controls up to five different pedals, does the program changes for all five. And not only that, it also can handle controller changes. And what a controller change and the difference is between a, a program change is a controller change is actually just changing a single knob, a single value of a knob as opposed to a whole preset. And that's great because say, you have a really awesome ambient delay, but in one of your settings, you just wanna have it so that there's more repeat, so you want the feedback up. Instead of creating a whole new program change for this whole thing, all you do is you just assign it to your favorite ambient delay and do a controller change for a higher value for the feedback. Quick, easy, less stuff to think about. Lastly, this pedal, the uh, Basilisk, could be controlled with another MIDI device. So if you have a big, very complex uh, MIDI switching system, you could actually use that system to control the Basilisk to really keep the clutter down and to really make the, the stress of huge boards like that a lot easier to deal with. Last but not least is the Croc Eye. The Croc Eye is super, super small. Uh, there's 70 presets. You can do the 16 channel, you know, MIDI channels. It has all the program changes, the controller changes. Uh, but what makes this one a little bit different is it's designed to be used specifically with their flagship switcher, which is the Crocodile Tail Loop. So it's designed pretty much to work in conjunction with it to unload a lot of potential and power. If you're looking uh, to upgrade your Crocodile Tail Loop, with some MIDI compatibility, this is probably the one to get. Uh, if you want more detail on that, check out my video on the Crocodile Tail Loop, which is linked somewhere on the video. Well, that is it. That is pretty much all they really offer. My questions for you subscribers is, do any of you actually have MIDI capable pedals on your board? And if you do, do you use a MIDI controller for them or do you just run them as is? I'm curious to hear what you wanna say. Keep your eyes open. The first Wednesday of every month is One Control Wednesday. We're back to playing guitar next week. So keep your eyes open. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.